Joining us here on the Carolina Sports Network is the head coach of the Winthrop baseball team, Tom Reginas. Coach, uh, second trip into uh, BB&T ballpark. Uh, you were here a year ago. Uh, is the thrill uh, still the same for you in your ball club? Uh, no question about it. When, when you get to play in a facility like this, it's great for our kids. Um, we were able to play out at uh, TD America in uh, Creighton in Omaha this year, same type facility, and it's just a good situation, good experience for our kids. So whenever we get a chance to uh, uh, get in postseason, you're going to play in facilities like this. Coach, as we took, take a look at your season, you come into this game here tonight against Davidson, playing some pretty good baseball. And, you know, it's kind of funny. We are at the Carolina Sports Network. Back in the beginning of the year, we got your Citadel score that night. And uh, my partner, Lee, who's uh, filming us here, says to me, did you check out Winthrop tonight? And I was like, wow, as that looks like a football or a basketball score. But since then, you guys have been just really finding the groove. Winners of 11 of 14 coming in, four in a row. Uh, kids have really turned the corner for you. Yeah, you know what? At, at the time when that happened, you know, as, as competitors, as coaches, as players, you're embarrassed. Your, your, your pride is hurt. But... We do a lot with mental conditioning and a sports psychologist, and our guys were able to really turn the page and, and get to the next day really quickly on that. And I think I, I give all the credit to our guys. We came back out the next day and uh, played uh, Charleston Southern. Didn't win, but we played well. And then we went that weekend against uh, Asheville and won two out of three, and it kind of started rolling. The guys did a really good job. We talk about staying in the present moment, and I think, you know, Hopefully, at the end of the year, we're going to say that's going to be a blessing in disguise, and that was a point of the season that was a turning point because you always got those crucial points in the season that you could go one way or the other, and so far right now, we went the uh, to the north. Some of the kids we look forward to seeing tonight, senior outfielder Anthony Polson having a great senior campaign for you, leading you guys and hitting batting almost 350 on the season. He's had a remarkable senior campaign for you. He has. He, he's a guy that's hitting 350 three years in a row. Uh, when we got him here, we brought him in. He's hit from day one. And I always say, Tigers don't change your stripes. He's going to hit, and he's still hitting. He's having a great year. Started off kind of slowly, but you look what he's done probably the last four weeks. It's been unbelievable. So, And that's where he's probably close to 350 right now. Junior infielder Mitch Spires, uh, another kid that has been raking for you, having a pretty good campaign with the stick. Yeah, and, and we made a move with him this year. He was our starting third, actually starting second baseman as a freshman, starting third baseman as a sophomore. We've moved him to short, and his whole game has just turned around. Um, he was a good player for us his freshman, sophomore year, but the way he's swinging the bat, uh, he's been outstanding. He's been probably the most consistent hitter we've had all year. Coach, when you talk about pitching, that's obviously the staple of any championship team. Tonight you have a kid uh, by the name of Daniel Wilcott throwing for you. You know, a lot of people make – speculation between weekend pitchers and weekday pitchers when you guys approach your rotation how do you guys develop kids you, you, you throw your lesser experience during the week and how do you you guys approach that well it, it, that's exactly what midweek uh, games do it helps develop depth just like this week it's a two-game week for us five week total and what's going to happen everybody gets to pitch and and daniel uh, early on wasn't where he needed to be but about a month ago we started against citadel and he just he turned the corner he knew what we were going to get and that's what we were getting out of him and that was like his coming out party. It was a, the, the start against Citadel at our place. Uh, I think it was around April 15th, 16th, somewhere around there. Then he had another great start at um, North Carolina A&T, and it's kind of just been rolling from there. So we, we look for big things, but this is what we expected out of Daniel. When we recruited him, he was a junior college transfer, we expected this out of him. 27-18 and 18 overall, 13-5 and five in the Big South. Um, as you get ready for the home stretch of the season, how prepared are you to make this run in the Big South? Well, every game's a new challenge. Every game's a new test. So it's how, how well we prepared for that test. That's what I tell the guys. And we learn after every experience. You know, we didn't play our best baseball last night, but we won. So, again, that was another learning experience. So I think these guys are prepared. We want to, become, we want to be prepared every single day. Our focus has been outstanding. Um, I, I told them about three weeks ago is that I'm at peace at the, with their pre preparation. They come out here, they're prepared every game. We, need, we may not win every game, but I know these guys are tuned in. They're prepared and they're ready to go. Finally, Coach, as you prepare to play Davidson here tonight at BB&T Ballpark, this picturesque ballpark, non-conference game, it, you know, kind of take a break from your conference season. How do you approach a midweek game like this against a non-conference foe? Do you let the kids get a chance to experience this, or do you just play it like a normal game? 
we play it like a normal. Every game's a challenge, and every game means something, especially for us right now. Because not only are we fighting um, to win a championship, but you know, if we don't win a championship, we may be in a situation where we get an at-large bid. So every game means something. We talked about that after we got out of exams. Is that every game means something right now? So this game is just as important to us as Friday night against Campbell. Coach, best of luck to you tonight against Davidson, and get them in the Big South. I mean, you guys are on a roll. Just keep it going. Thank you very much. I appreciate you.